So I'm just going to show you the set of games and applications and tools that I've just released to GitHub so you can download and practice your testing because that's what they're for. So on github.com slash evil tester in the repositories, you'll find Selenium test pages. Now that's because originally this was an offline version of all the test pages that I use in my Selenium training. But I've expanded it now. So it's now a Java app that has all the pages for Selenium and uh, JavaScript games and some applications, all of which you can use for your testing. So I've gone to the Selenium test pages project, going off to release, and there's the jar file. So I can either right click and do save link as, and then you won't get any of the Chrome um, dialogue thing saying, are you sure that's a jar file that might be executable? So if I then do the download, what we've got is this type of file is executable. Do you want to do this anyway? Discard button. What do I do? Okay, show all and then keep. So there we go. So now I've got a jar file. So if I show that in Finder, let me... All right, so I'm just going to open a tab here. So I've got a command line up. There it is, Selenium test pages. So what I'm going to do is Java minus jar Selenium test pages and that will start up the app. So it's a basically a web server that you've just downloaded. So I'm going to go now to localhost port 4567. And there we go. So this is all the Selenium stuff down here. I haven't really changed any of that because that's still in the training. But down the bottom here, a variety of games and apps. And then we rock new page, which has a variety of games and apps. So we've got games like the Colored Square game. So what I do here is I click until it turns red and then I'll click the it is red button and then I'll win the game. Hmm, maybe there's a bug in this one and it doesn't turn red. So then the challenge is, well, how can I cheat so that I can actually win the game? And there's a whole variety of ways of doing that, but I'm not gonna show you the answer because that's one of the fun things that you get to try and explore and experiment. And there's loads of stuff in here like that. So there's at least, what, eight games there like that. There's a little um, little application that you can test here. This has some bugs. What's interesting about this is I don't remember anything about that one, so I will have to test it at some point. Then we've got apps that are, are designed to actually be production apps. So you can test these, see if they work or not. We've got um, the responsive test tool, which lets me um, do responsive layout testing for different Websites. So let's set up a, an old iPad one. Let's create that, create that rotated. So then it's added down here. So then I can see the site and those resolutions. Now, clearly, you could use the um, built in dev tools, but this is a tool that I wrote ages ago. Change the URL. Then it's added that into the, the layout there. So that's the little tool. Um, but it's also an app, and you can test the app, and you can see how could you hack this to add new things? How can you put new stuff in here? What can you make this do? And that's really what this is. It's a select of, it's a collection of little tools that you can run offline in your browser here, play the games, mess with the tools, see what you can make it do. It's all running in your browser. You're not going off into the internet. There's no danger. You're not going to break anything. You don't need any servers to be down. And if you've run it from the command line, it's easy. Just do control C and it will stop the application. Or if you're in the browser, just do shut down and that will stop the app. There we go. Very simple. It's basically just a collection of stuff that you can test and practice your testing on. Um, let me know how you get on. Leave some comments in the video. Um, basically, it's there for you to experiment with and I'll add some new games over time. And if you've got any ideas for kind of things you'd like to see in there, let me know. And who knows, we might create something that goes in there and then you can show off to everyone else.